Hey guys, this is Bram Inc. for Cardrunners.com, bringing you a new heads up video. Uh, this is not going to be a normal heads up video just because it's actually played on the iPad and it's played against my dad. And um, the iPad app is called Heads Up Hold'em HD and it's pretty cool because it's super annoying to play Heads Up Live with a friend and have to shuffle the cards every, you know, couple seconds. And um, also not having to deal with chips saves a bunch of time. And you can set this up with like two iPads or I think iPhone as well, sort of battleship style so you can still see each other and play live but, but have all those, uh, you know, dealing responsibilities sort of taken care of. So that's pretty cool. And it's also just a well-made app. It has a lot of features and um, you can also play sharing one iPad. It has a good system for that where you can hide your cards with your hand while you peek at them. So it's got a bunch of good features. Um, and you can play, I think we're playing here Bluetooth, but you can also play online versus people in different uh, locations. So uh, that's going to be what the format for today. And um, like I said, I'm playing against my father, who I do have a lot of history with, <laughs> obviously. He got me into poker in 2004 and uh, sort of, you know, accidentally kickstarted my poker career in that way. Of course, we've had totally different, like, uh, ways of approaching poker over the last 10 years. I was, you know, studying and reading books and reading, you know, online poker forums and he just likes to have fun mo mostly and doesn't obviously play for a living, but he does do pretty well for you know, a non-pro. He's plays tons of live events from World Series of Poker to other events near, you know, around the country. Um, he loves playing MTTs and he loves to play like a tricky kind of psychological game. And he's he's good at that part. Um, he's not as good, I would say, at the um, shorter stacked sort of mathematical fundamentals. He probably makes a lot of mistakes there because he never took the time to sit there and study all the math principles. Um, so he's kind of the opposite of me. I'm more math. I've spent almost, almost my whole career studying short stack play and fine tuning that. And uh, deep stack, I have less experience, although I've done more of that the last couple of years. Um, so yeah, we have like kind of off opposite styles and he plays super tricky. Um, and I think in this first match, I recorded about five of these matches. I think he gets me real good. So you'll get to see what I mean. Uh, but I'll go ahead and take you through my thought process at the time of hand because obviously our dynamics do shift uh, quite a bit um, from a psychological uh, perspective especially. So let's get started. King 9 first hand. Uh, I'll, I'll sort of let you in on my specific reads as we go. For instance, he doesn't raise a lot pre-flop. He probably raises less than 50% of hands from the button. Um, he's been raising more ever since I told him like a month or two ago that like you should be raising tons heads up on the button. But but nonetheless, this 35 raise at big blind 510 is going to be a little bit um, relatively stronger range for him, um, more so than your average opponent, that's all. Uh, nonetheless, I'm never going to fold king nine here, so it's a pretty easy call. And uh, deciding whether to float this hand or not, one of the biggest factors I think you should always think about here is how often is your opponent going to two barrel and three barrel and that kind of stuff. Because if you're playing a guy who likes to three barrel all the time with air, you're never going to get to showdown here with king nine. I mean, you have king high and, and who knows what the board is going to bring really. But um, in this case, I think I lean towards folding because my dad is pretty aggressive on late streets especially. He's usually more passive actually on the flop uh, when he hits. So there's a very good chance he has nothing here. But uh, the qu real question to me is how am I going to win the hand? How am I going to get the showdown? Or how am I going to turn my hand into a bluff? And I, since that doesn't seem like a good idea uh, in this hand, I think a check raise here is pretty a little bit um, transparent. Um, I just prefer to fold 